Results and Discussion According to Moles et al., temperature leads to electric percolation in microemulsions due to the transfer of charge and mass between collided microdroplets. This transfer is effective when microdroplets collide with enough energy, effective collisions, and a structural reorganization of the surfactant layers of the microdroplets occurs producing a pore through which the exchange of mass and load occurs. An increase in temperature increases the possibility of effective collisions between microdroplets, so that facilitates the phenomenon. Certainly, a modification on the surfactant film interactions can cause a reduction, or an increase, in the effective collisions. This effect can be caused by the presence of additives in the microemulsion. Moles et al. Report that crown ethers capture ions and transfer them to the surfactant film where decrease the repulsions between the surfactant's head groups in the surfactant film. This results in a stabilization of the structure and, consequently, the effective collisions between microdroplets decrease. For this reason, the percolation threshold increases because more energy is required to produce effective collisions between microdroplets, with this effect being predominant at low additive concentration. In addition to this, molds et al. State that crown ethers can interact with the surfactant film causing destabilization, making the film less rigid, which facilitates effective collisions and favors the electric percolation. This effect is given at high concentrations of additive. According to De Silva Carbol et al., limes are considered as simply acyclic analogs from the group indicated above, the crown ethers, and can exhibit less cation affinity than their cyclic corresponding. The glimes would be linked to the polar surfactant head group in O-film, taking the place of water molecules in the hydration sphere. Due to the polar groups of the molecules would be located in the microdroplet aqueous core, the surfactant film reduces its rigidity, facilitating, and therefore, increasing the number of effective collisions and the percolation threshold will be achieved at lower temperatures. Polyethylene glycols have a similar effect due to the molecule acting as a bridge between microdroplets and thus facilitating the percolation process. To develop this neural model, Moles et al. selected different input variables to predict the percolation temperature, which was chosen for being related to the molecule structure and its nature. The input variables were, I, additive concentration, 2, log P, 3, molecular mass minus, 4, Maximum number of bonds between rings BM minus, V, minimum number of bonds between rings BM minus, V, number of atoms that conforms a ring in a crown ether airing minus, 7, number of heterotoms A minus, 8, number of oxygen atoms NO9, number of nitrogen atoms in N, X, number of benzene rings in the molecule and bends. The additive concentration supplies information about the influence of different quantities of additive. Log P, Partition coefficient between water and one octanol, provides information about the polarity, hydrophobicity, of a substance, finally, the other variables could provide information about molecular structure. All these variables were also chosen, based on the knowledge obtained in previous works, and with a purpose to find which are the most important variables to determine the percolation temperature and develop a general model to be able to determine it with any type of additive. As stated above, the trial and error method was used to determine the best artificial neural network. The best model developed by Moles et al., according to validation group, was the model with 10 neurons in the first layer, input, 8 neurons in the intermediate layer, hidden, and 1 neuron in the output layer, i.e., presents an architecture of 1081. Neural network, 1081, selected by Moles et al. To predict the percolation temperature for crown ethers, the selected ANN model presents, for the validation group, a determination coefficient around 0.724. Although this value is not very high, the root mean square error must be taken into account because it gives an idea of the deviation from the experimental value of the validation cases. In this sense, it can be seen that the RMSE is slightly greater than 1.1 degrees Celsius. This value can be considered valid due to it being close to the limit of 1 degree Celsius, which is, in our opinion, the barrier to the use of an ANN model. N, the predicted values versus the experimental values of percolation temperature for validation group are shown, blue triangle. It can be seen, taking as reference the line with slope 1, that several points are far from the ideal prediction. It is these points that cause the RMSE in the validation group to exceed the threshold value of 1 degree Celsius. 
Experimental and Predicted Values of Percolation Temperature for Validation Cases of Crown Ethers, Glymes, and Polyethylene Glycols. The figure is a modification and combination of the data provided by Moles et al. Dashed line corresponds to the line with slope 1. The ANN 1081 presence, for the training group, a determination coefficient around 0.933 and RMSE of 1.625 degrees Celsius. N, the predicted values versus the experimental values of percolation temperature for training group are shown, blue triangle. It can be seen that different points are far from the ideal prediction, especially in the range 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Experimental and predicted values of percolation temperature for training cases of crown ethers, glymes, and polyethylene glycols. The figure is a modification and combination of the data provided by Moles et al. Dashed line corresponds to the line with slope 1. The most important input variables to predict the percolation temperature of crown ethers are the additive concentration, the number of benzenes, and log p. According to the values obtained for the training group and the validation group, it can be said that the model developed could be used for the prediction of the percolation temperature. However, Taking into account the RMSC values and the dispersion presented by some of the training and validation cases, it could be concluded that the model developed by Moles et al. should be improved to get the RMSC value to fall below 1, in both groups. Moles et al. selected for this ANN model different input variables based on the knowledge obtained in the previous works. In this case, the variables used by Moles et al. were, I, additive concentration, dash and, 2. Log P were used for being one of the most important variables in the previous model. The variables, 3, molecular mass and minus and, 4, the number of oxygen in the molecule NO were used because they had also been taken into account in the crown ethers model. Finally, V, number of carbon atoms in C, which had already been used in a previous model, and had shown good results, was taken into account. Authors reported that the best model, Taking into account the results of the validation group, is the model constituted by 5, 5 and 1 neurons in the input, hidden and output layer, respectively, architecture 551. Neural network, 551, selected by Moulds et al. To predict the percolation temperature for glymes. The selected model presents for validation group a determination coefficient with a value of close to 0.988. This high value corresponds to an RMSC value around 0.750 degrees Celsius and it is considered a very good adjustment because it is below the reference error set at 1 degree Celsius. For the training group, the selected neural network also has good adjustments, both in terms of R2, 0.999, and the associated RMSC value, below 0.200 degrees Celsius. These good adjustments, both in determination coefficient and in the root mean square error, can be seen in figures 3 and 4, where the predicted and experimental values for the validation and training groups are compared. It can be seen that for both the training and the validation, the points fit almost perfectly to the line with slope 1, except, perhaps, a point in the validation group, bottom left of graph 3, where a point that deviates slightly can be seen. The last model proposed by Moles et al is a neural network model with 58851 architecture, that is, 5 input variables in the first layer, 3 hidden layers with 8, 8, and 5 neurons, and an output layer with 1 neuron, the percolation temperature. Neural network, 58851, selected by Moles et al. to predict the percolation temperature for polyethylene glycols. The variables used were the same as those used in the model developed to predict the percolation temperature in glymes, that is, I, additive concentration, 2, log P, 3, molecular mass and minus, 4, the number of oxygen in the molecule NO and, V, the number of carbon atoms in C. This model provides a good determination coefficient, 0.990, with an RMSC below 1 degree Celsius for validation group. This good fit for the validation group can also be observed for the training group, figures 3 and 4. In these figures, it can be seen how data fit perfectly, R2 of 0.999, to the slope line 1, with all points falling over the line. For the validation group, two points are observed outside but with a very small distance. Once again, the RMSEs are below 1 degree Celsius, 
which can be considered satisfactory, so that, the network could be used to determine the percolating temperature of polyethylene glycols.